Welcome to our weekly update. In these short videos, I like to give you a little bit more feedback on what I see happen in the work of the previous week, as well as give you some tips for our current week. So first thing I want to mention is that there, you need to be really careful with historical facts and even the vocabulary that you use when we're talking about history. So, um, and please don't be offended or, you know, feel bad if I correct you, but um, if I see something that is, you know, refers to the wrong era or uses vocabulary that doesn't fit with that particular time in history, then I'll let you know. And I do that in, in discussion board because um, I don't want the ideas to propagate incorrectly. And also I wanna let people know if there are mistakes uh, early on when it's something that's not worth very many points like a discussion board so that the mistake doesn't get carried forward into something larger like an artifact analysis where it would cost you a ton of points. So um, so I will correct you if it's something that, you know, I don't wouldn't want to say major, but I typically also email you to me because I know that most people don't go back and look at the discussion board after the week has passed. So I'll email you and let you know if something like that happens. One of the things that uh, is hard, I think, to wrap our heads around is is this time traveling that we do when when we're talking about history and we'll use terms and vocabulary from our from our modern world that don't apply to the past. So if, for instance, you know, if we used a word like church or angel, or um, it, I even, sorry, now all I can think are words that do fit. So, so those, those are two words that don't apply to the cultures in chapter one, because they were concepts that didn't exist yet. The idea of angels didn't exist yet with that term. So I'll be letting you know. So it might seem like I'm being really picky, but I think it's super important that we talk about history correctly. Okay. So the thematic project, that's where the majority of our work is going to be done this semester. And um, almost everybody is done signing up for your presentation week. There's still spots left. So if you haven't signed up, please get on discussion board and do that. Our first presentation is actually posted in discussion board as part of what you can you know, you can respond to it, you can re reply to it, and it's really, really good. It's got great images and some wonderful artifacts, so please check it out. At the top of each week's discussion board, there is a, a thread called presentation, and that's where you'll find it. So those presentations count as your own participation in the week when you post it, as well as, you know, when you respond to it. So contemporary artifacts, um, were mentioned in discussion board last week when people are introducing themselves and talking about, you know, what they do for hobbies. And um, I wanted to point out that some of the items really would fit well as contemporary artifacts at the end of the semester when we're looking at items in our contemporary culture and discussing how they tie back down through ideas in history. So for instance, a dune was mentioned, the work of J.R. Tolkien was mentioned, Dungeons and Dragons, and those are, and there were more, but those are three that stuck out to me because there, there is a lot of mythological references there, and keep that in mind. So go with something that you really enjoy and do a little research on it and figure out how it ties back into the past. This week in Discussion Board, I'll be giving feedback and tips on any ideas you want to post for potential topics on artifact explanation number one. And that is due not until the end of February. So you have a ton of time that's February and we'll be working on it and talking about it before then. But if you want to go ahead and give it a try, all you have to do is go into that thread in discussion board this week and say, um, here is an artifact and I think it can be said to represent this theme and here's why. And, and there are already a couple of really great posts put in there this week. I've responded to them. The good, the good news is that you can see if you have the right idea about theme and genre. And um, I will also be giving tips on where to do some research if you want to keep going with that artifact and develop it into a paper as the artifact explanation. So I hope you join us or at least check out what people are posting.
it'll help you understand it'll help you understand the thematic project so my last thing is um, i want to pitch my office hours and making a phone conference with me especially about the thematic project it has a lot of complex ideas in it and a lot of pieces to keep track of and they all tie together. So you need to figure it out early on in the semester so that you can be successful throughout all the different parts of it. I found in the past that for students who want some clarification on the assignment, it just takes like a 10 minute phone call and we can walk through the assignment and make it make a lot more sense. So if you were to click on instructor contact information in the left-hand navigation bar in Blackboard, you would find my email address, which you can click right here, you would find a reminder about my office hours, which are Tuesday and Thursday, noon to one in Collaborate. You're welcome to drop in any, any time. If you would like to make a phone conference appointment with me, just email me and say, here are some times I'm available. For instance, I'm available after work on Tuesdays and Thursdays after from four to seven in the evening. And I will, email you back and and narrow down a time that um that and usually what i've been doing is just giving you my phone number and saying you can call me then so that seems to work a little bit better so please uh, please get in touch with me i hope you're enjoying the class this week has some really great concepts in it and week three is the egyptians so even better things are coming <laughs>